Hello everyone. Today we're diving into the eccentric world of none other than Winston Churchill, a man who was as witty as he was formidable. So grab your tea and let's explore the quirks and genius of this iconic British leader. First off, Churchill wasn't just a Prime Minister. He was a walking library of snappy comebacks and profound thoughts. One of his most famous burns comes from a lovely exchange with Lady Astor. She said, if you were my husband, I'd poison your tea. To which Winston cheekily replied, and if you were my wife, I would drink it. Classic Churchill, turning a dinner party into a battlefield of wits. Now let's talk speeches. During some of Britain's darkest hours in World War II, Churchill's speeches weren't just words, they were verbal battleships. His, we shall fight on the beaches, speech literally turns the English language into a national fortress. Every pause and intonation rallied the British spirit like a verbal charge against the enemy. But Winston was more than just a master orator, he was also quite the scribe. Winning the Nobel Prize in Literature, he penned volumes that spanned from the epic saga of the Second World War to a deep dive into the painting hobby he loved so much. Yes, when he wasn't running a war or a country, he was painting landscapes. Talk about a Renaissance man. Churchill's lifestyle? Well, it was as large as the man's personality. Known for his love of cigars and brandy, Winston knew how to live it up. There's a famous photo where he's just casually strolling through the ruins of Bond London, puffing away on a cigar like he's walking through a park and not a city that's just been blitzed. And his relationships? Let's just say Churchill knew how to keep things spicy. His marriage to Clementine was both a loving partnership and an epic duel of wits. They exchanged thousands of letters throughout their life together, which were often as affectionate as they were sharp. Imagine the dinner conversations in the Churchill household. So there you have it, folks. Winston Churchill, a man of profound intellect, enviable wit, and an appetite for life that could rival his appetite for a good scotch. He was truly a character larger than life, navigating through it with the grace of a bulldog, which, coincidentally, he kind of resembled. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time, keep your wits sharp and your spirits high.